what's up welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look it's a sexier more dramatic take on springtime makeup but still really springtime we've got some like iridescent blue purple cranberry I just thought it was like really fun and a little bit more dramatic and edgy for springtime so if you guys are interested please be sure to keep watching <laughs> please be sure to keep watching Oh, I spit all over myself. Please be sure to keep watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want to see some more springtime makeup tutorials. Let your girl know by giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. That way you guys get all the notifications whenever I upload and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to get started off with the eyes first just because we're going to be using somewhat darker of shadows. They're really pigmented and there is a little bit of fallout so I don't want to do my base before I do my eyes. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of moisturizer. This one is from OC Malibu. It is their Atmosphere Protection Cream. I do about three pumps and just really work it into the skin. And then we're going to pop on a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. All right, so now that we are done prepping our eyeballs for shadows, we're going to go in with the Japanese Velvet Touch Metals Eyeshadow Palette. Now, these are really gorgeous. They're high pigmented. They have a lot of intense color payoff, very gorgeous jewel tones, um, and we're gonna make them look nice and springtime appropriate. So I'm gonna first go in with this kind of, it's like a burgundy, maroon, wine-ish type of shade. So I'm gonna pick that up on a Sedona Lace EB13 brush. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly start buffing this all over the eyelid. Okay, and then once you've got it kind of like nicely, softly blended all around your eyes, I'm gonna go in with a flat shadow brush and I'm gonna take that burgundy shade once again and just really pack it onto the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with the Japanese Velvet Touch Metals Eyeliner Pencil in Eggplant. And I'm gonna run this along the top lash line. Take a stiff brush and just kind of smudge that out a little bit. You're just kind of like taking your time and you can bring it up higher on the lid. And then on top of that eggplant liner, what we're gonna do is pick up this blue shade on that same brush, it doesn't matter. And you're going to use this to kind of smoke out that purple liner. And then the next brush I'm gonna take is this fluffy brush from Loud Makeup. It's an E1 brush. And I'm just gonna pick up that blue shadow on this brush and use it to kind of diffuse the line where the burgundy shade and the blue meet, just so that it's a little bit more soft and not so harsh. And then it actually turns into like a really pretty gradient purple. We're gonna go back in with that FB01 brush and dip into that wine shade once again and just bring that back a little bit because we lost some of that wine shade with the blue. And you're just gonna kind of like lightly. And then I'm just gonna take the brush to kind of soften all the lines, just kind of keeping it nice and gradient because I like how it transitions from that really bright blue into that kind of soft wine color using this shade right here. Just gonna take a little brush from Eco Tools and I'm gonna pop that right on the brow. So let's finish the face and then we will do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Just gonna take a big bead of this and it's gonna go all over the entire face. It's just gonna, this really, this really will just brighten everything up and just make your skin look so glowy and beautiful. That all over my face and then just kind of in the center of my face, I'm gonna be using the Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer. You only need a really small amount because it does kind of like mattify your face, but it is also really hydrating. So I just use this in my T-zone because even though I have dry skin, I do tend to get a little bit oily in the T-zone. So for the skin today, I'm going to be using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I am in the shade S, what I'm gonna show you. My shade is SX11 and, and then I'm just going to dot this under the eyes. And the trick with this that I do is I just kind of move it around with the brush to like really work it into the skin, but then warm it up with my finger and that just kind of gets the product to really melt 
into your skin. And then I'm gonna also conceal the corners of my nose just a little bit. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using Hula by Benefit. And then this is just like a fluffy brush from Vanity Planet and I'm just going to bronze up my skin. I'm gonna be doing like kind of bronzing, kind of contouring. I'll actually mix in a little bit of NARS Laguna with Hula just so that there's like a little bit of shimmer and so that we get a little bit of light reflecting off the skin rather than using Hula only because Hula is completely matte. Sometimes I'll bronze my whole face up with Hula but let's make things a little bit dewier. Go up on the forehead, jawline, chin, and we're also gonna just do the sides of the nose to give a little bit of a contour. So for blush, I have really been loving this one by NARS. It's in the shade Misconduct. It's just a really pretty dusty pink and it's not too distracting. It seems to work with pretty much any eye look, but especially smoky looks because it's not too pink, it's not too orange. It's just a nice softer pink blush and I'm just going to be applying this with a Revlon blush brush. So for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. So for highlight, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Holograph, ho, ho, is it hologram or ho, it's a holographic stick. This one is in the shade Mars and I'm just going to kind of apply this. It just kind of gives you a little bit of a pinky glow and just apply it with the warmth of your fingers as that works the best a little bit in the center. Ooh, pretty, I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna finish off the lower lash line. We're gonna take some of this burgundy shade on a pencil brush from Zoeva. This is a Zoeva 230, the Lux pencil brush. And we're just going to pop this on the lower lash line from the outer corner to right before the inner corner stop. I'm not gonna pull this all the way into the inner corner. You're just going to dip back into that blue shade and we're gonna blend this into the outer corner of the lower lash line. So just start right at the outer corner and just kind of blend it in back there. So we're gonna take that eggplant liner one more time. Ooh, that was a close one. Dinged myself. And we're just going to line our waterline and the tight line, just to bring a little bit more intensity into the look. So for lips, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Le Mock Liquid Lip Cream in Shush Blush. Sorry, the font is so tiny, I was having a little bit of a difficult time. This is a really pretty rose shade, so it's gonna go really well with that cranberry color. And then I always like a little bit of a glossy lip, especially for springtime, it just looks nice and fresh. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of gloss on top. This one is from Rimmel, it's in Blushing Belgraves. And it's just kind of like a light, soft pink, but it's just gonna keep things looking nice and fresh instead of like matte. I'm going to finish off with some mascara. Forgot to do that earlier, so I'm gonna use the Essence Isla Volume Mascara in the waterproof version. All right guys, so that's it for this tutorial. This is the finished look. I really hope you like it. I love it a lot. I think it's gonna transition really well from spring into fall because you're using jewel tones but wearing them a little bit more iridescently so they don't look too crazy. They look really like wearable and I like how they just kind of like fade off into a really pretty iridescent purple together. So I hope you guys liked this. I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic for a spring makeup tutorial. If you guys still want to see like a really pretty bronzy golden look for a spring makeup tutorial, just let your girl know because you know I'll do it. I love bronzy golden looks. Bronzy golden looks till I die. They're my favorites, but I also like this a lot too. So if you guys recreate this look, I really would love to see pictures and videos. It always makes my day when you guys send me videos of looks of mine that you've recreated. It's seriously one of my favorite things to get from you guys are recreation photos. So if you do, be sure to send it to me. Be sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you didn't earlier. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you didn't earlier as well. I'm gonna have product links, information, everything that you wanna know about this video will be in the description box. Don't forget to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will have all three in the description box as well. And leave some video requests if you have any specific ones for springtime. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.